Hey, what's up everyone? So here's another update on the quads and the mobility scooter project. So in between doing the kit, there he is, it's out over there. So while I'm doing Night Rider, yeah, I've got lots of other stuff that I'm doing at the same time because there's only so much I can do on kit and then I have to wait for a while if I've either got to wait for parts or wait for the car to go into the garage, etc. So there's always stuff that I've got to do in between. There's always little mini projects and other medium-sized projects. And one of them things is my quad. Now, I've tested my quad before. You've probably seen on some other videos. I've taken this little bad boy to the go-kart track and the blue one. But the blue one has never really ran very well. So as you can see, I'm in the middle of a strip down for the air cool engine anyway. So I'm just waiting for a couple of gaskets to come. I need a couple of these reed gaskets and then I can rebuild this and then put it back in the green one. Now the green one is just the air cools. Now that is fairly quick and that's always been really reliable. So you can go back on the, on the channel and look at the other videos I've done of this. Really good quad, really reliable and it is pretty fast to be honest. The blue one, as I said, has never really ran to its full potential. So I need to have a play around with that. Now, one of the other things that I've recently built, well, I'm building, I haven't finished it yet, is the mobility scooter. Now I said, didn't I, uh, in one of the last videos that I wasn't sure whether to put an electric motor in it or a petrol engine. Now I'm gonna show you what I've recently bought for it. It didn't quite go to plan, right, so, on the back of the quad, I've got go-kart tires. Yeah, so this is to increase the, the size of the rear axle, yeah, of the, of the wheelbase. So I've got more grip. Because this engine's a lot faster than the air-cooled, I needed bigger tires. Now, I've adopted the same sort of idea for the mobility scooter. However... I went to pick up some go-kart tires during the week and I bought some, but they're a little bit bigger than what I expected. <laughs> Look at the size of them. They are massive. I mean, these must be full on go-kart wheels and go, you know, go-kart tires. On the inside it actually says jet wheels. Now I'm not a big go-kart sort of guru, you know, I don't know that much about carts i know the basics but i'm i'm guessing that these wheels are the proper rear wheels for a go-kart yeah i'm not talking about the actual make but just the size of them <clears throat> i think the wheels on this go on my uh, quad here i think they are probably off the front of a go-kart so i've used front wheels there front go-kart wheels for the rears of my quad. So, have a look at these bad boys. These are absolutely massive. Now, I'm sure I can still use them. So this is the actual project. If we can get that to sit on there like that. Anyway, we'll just put that there. So, they're the wheels. And even the front ones are actually quite big. Yeah, so even the front, so if we compare these to the fronts that are on the back of my quad, you can see there's not much different. So I think I've got those wheels on the back of my quad there, because I didn't put these on. These were done from a friend of mine. So they look like fronts. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's all about the mobility scooter for now. So these fronts are going to work great on the front of there. Like that so you can see the difference now the reason why I don't want to keep the standard wheels on and I know I did say in a previous video that I want to keep this looking authentic I did but that was going to be mainly for if I had an electric motor in the in the scooter so when I take it around the streets it just looks completely standard but as I'm going to put a two-stroke engine in the in this 
it doesn't really make any difference if it doesn't look authentic or not. Not only that, when I start putting a lot of power through this chassis, you know, through through the scooter, I need a decent um, wheelbase. I need uh, I need some bigger wheels on it. So when I'm going around the corners, I don't flip it. Not only that, I don't really think these sort of these gel wheels are going to withstand like forty odd, forty forty five miles an hour because that's the sort of speed I'm going to get out of this. Once I put the engine in it that I've got, then uh, that's going to be fast. So yeah, I need to revisit how I'm going to do this. Now, if you can imagine that on the side there, if you can imagine that sitting on the side of the, of the scooter like that, that is going to be an absolute beast. So yeah, it's all going well didn't really plan on having these huge great wheels it just means that when I put the back of the uh, the fairing on so this, this is this is the back so when I put this on like that that goes over there like that I think so when that goes on like that these wheels are gonna be something like that. I mean, that is gonna look like an absolute beast. <laughs> so yeah, it's all going well. <clears throat> this is taking a little bit more time to do. The reason why I've not done too much on, on the mobility scooter recently is because I've not been too good. I've had a bit of vertigo, so I've not been in the garage much. But anyway, all excuses aside, is it's coming along, I've got the wheels, now I just need to get the axle. I need to build the axle at the back. I need to create a new frame for it, but I will get all this on video when I do it. So the end video, you'll see exactly how I do it. And then I'll mount the actual engine, the two truck engine at the back, sprocket, and then line everything up, get my water gear. So I'll have a radiator and everything at the front, like I do on the quad. So it's gonna be a similar setup so what I've got on my quad look, I've got a radiator there. Yeah, I've got the water bottle and then all of my pipes and everything go to the engine. But this particular engine, it's a little bit of a shame because this is a very, very quick engine. This is a 40, 40cc engine and it's a very fast engine. It's not, it's not a cheap replica, anything like that. This is an original, um, engine and this was used to race many years ago obviously over the years engines progress don't they and they get slightly faster and you know the older race engines don't get used so much anymore the same in most sports but this is still a very good engine a very fast engine so things are coming along and this is what we're working on at the moment um, as I said, I'm rebuilding the air cooled. Just got to put it back together, put that back in the quads. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we are hopefully in the next month or so going to be able to do some top speed tests. So I've managed to find a runway, an airfield where we can take these two and we get, we get the runway to ourselves and I can test the top speed of the quad. Now, I've also got another friend that's going to be coming with me who also runs a YouTube channel. I won't tell you too much about it, but he's going to be coming with me and he's got other he's got his own machines that he wants to test. So I'm going to be testing the quads. I don't know if the water cooled will be will be ready. I don't think the mobility scooter will be ready by then. So it will probably just be the air cooled. But it doesn't matter because it's going to be good fun. There's going to be so there's going to be this, and there's going to be other machines that my friends bring along as well. So it should be it should be a good laugh. It should be really good fun, and then hopefully we'll be able to go back more in the future and test more of this stuff. So once the scooter's done, I can take that down there and give that a good burn, and then also the water cooled quad as well. Once this is all done and uh, 
and up and running again. It's just it's a little bit of a shame because this is really, really quick. This this thing's got huge potential, but it does need a few little tweaks. But we will get there. And at some point, my ultimate sort of plan is to have the mobility scooter, the air cooled and the water cooled all there at the same time. So we can get a different person on each and we can go up the runway and have some have some speed tests, you know, do some speed tests and have some drag races as well. And that will be really good fun. So they're the things that I'm also working on. Plus, I've got other things in the pipeline. But just another little update along the way, because, you know, everyone that watches my videos, a lot of the videos I do are obviously from Knight Rider, but there's only so much I can do on Kit, as you know, and until he's been in the workshop and he's come back after paint there's only so much i can now do and that's going to be quite a few more months now until he comes back from the paint shop and i can start the interior so in between there's going to be lots of other stuff i'm going to do and these are you know i've always had a passion for little mini quad bikes they're just so much fun if you've never actually had a go on one seriously they are absolutely unbelievable they are so much fun they're quite dangerous if you if you don't have, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say they're just completely dangerous, but you do have to be careful because if you don't lean off them when you go around the corners, they, they will flip. But yeah, brilliant fun. And the mobility scooter, I think, will be just as much fun. And especially with the, with the old beefy wheels look that I've got for it, that, that thing is going to look mean when it's finished. That is, I'm really looking forward to that now. So there you go. Uh, I hope you're enjoying all the stuff that, that I'm uh, putting on my channel. And yeah, don't forget, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. And make sure that you stay notified. So you click the bell uh, so you get notified of any new videos that I post. Uh, yeah, Give us a like if you'd like the video. Share it, comment. You know, if there's anything else that you think I should do to the quads or if there's any comments you've got to do with the quads or the scooter. If there's anything you think I've missed or anything else you'd like to see, yeah, just post a comment and I'll see what I can do. So thanks for watching and look out for some more videos over the next couple of weeks. I've got lots more stuff coming up, lots more little off the cuff uh, videos like this coming up. So watch out for those. So thanks for watching guys. and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.